Hello everyone, this is Hima Bindu, second year MBBS from Pratima Institute of Medical Sciences, Karim Nagar, Telangana. Now here I am with you to talk about the subscapular spaces with these two fingers. This is how you are going to remember the boundaries of subscapular spaces in a very simple manner. Arrange your middle finger and index finger of both hands in such a way to form spaces in between. Assuming your middle finger as teres minor and the index finger as teres major and the other middle finger as humerus and the index finger as long head of triceps, we can see three spaces, a quadrangular space and two triangular spaces. Now let us look at the boundaries of quadrangular space. The superior border is formed by the teres minor and the inferior border is formed by the teres major whereas the medial border is formed by the long head of triceps and lateral border is formed by the surgical neck of humerus. Now coming to the upper triangular space, the superior border is formed by the teres minor as we can see and the lateral border is formed by the long head of triceps and the inferior border is formed by the teres major. Now coming to lower triangular space, the medial border is formed by the long head of triceps and the lateral border is formed by the shaft of humerus and superior border is formed by the teres major. It's a very simple way to remember the boundaries. Just by arranging your fingers in this manner, you can easily remember the boundaries of subscapular spaces. Now the contents of these spaces are the contents of quadrangular space are axillary nerve and posterior circumflex humor lateral and vein and the contents of upper triangular space are circumflex scapular artery and the contents of lower triangular space are radial nerve and profunda brachii artery and vein. So this is all about subscapular spaces. Hope it is helpful. Thank you.